Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. Go hut. So, last time we entered World 5 Pterodactyl Land, and we didn't actually complete it all in one recording session. I had to break it up into two. And fun fact, it's been like over a month since I last played this, so I actually don't remember everything we did in Pterodactyl Land yet, but I do remember that we took the sick dinosaur on the train to the Isle of Hags, and I am pretty sure that we healed it as Mumbo, but. Just to make sure, I'm gonna actually go into the not the caboose, but the 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 wagon back here. Yeah, the wagon. Okay, it looks like we healed him. Ah, I feel so much better. Do you mind if I gnaw your leg a little? Oh uh, yes, I would very much mind that. <laughs> my banjo voice and my goofy voice are kind of similar. I just realized. Oh, yup. Gosh, we're going back to Pterodactyl Land, huh, Kazooie? <laughs> Banjo, you sound really weird. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna actually take the train back to Pterodactyl Land rather than actually go in through the main entrance. Because we gotta bring this dinosaur back. I don't think we have a whole lot left for Pterodactyl Land, but we, have, we had enough that I had to break it up into two recording sessions. We're actually gonna fight the boss pretty soon, I believe. This is one of the few worlds where I can't really save the boss for last. Which is what I normally like doing. <laughs> the dinosaur's like, oh boy! Thomas, the tank engine is here! Oh, this is great! I love this! Yeah! <laughs> oh, and there's his buddy. Rawr! I feel real healthy now! So I'm going to run all the way home! Aw, oh, yeah, exercise. The Styracosaurus family. I believe that was the last thing we had to do. I can't thank you enough. Please accept this shiny thing I acquired when I trod on one of those unga bungas. We worked really hard for you. Any chance of another jiggy? No. Ah, fair enough. I don't think that was the same voice I gave to Scrotty last time, but again, it's been over a month, I can't remember. I just try to go off of, like, the go 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 sound effects that people have. <laughs> Alright, back to Pterodactyl Land. Thankfully, we don't actually have to go back to the family's cave. They, we just automatically get the Jiggy telepathically. Alright, at this point, I think it's time for us to start climbing the mountain to the top. There's so much that we still have to get on the way. And, well, the bulk of this level is climbing up the giant mountain, so... And we've barely scaled it at all. So this should take us back to Wumba's Wigwam, and that's the best place to start climbing it from. Provided you've already gotten the springy step shoes. Oh yep, yeah, there's Wumba's Wigwam. It's so big. Alright, Sprinty Step Shoes, we're gonna finally start putting you to some real use. Have to nest up here? This is how we're gonna climb up. Hey, we're back in Unkabunga's cave, and we're not even Mumbo this time. Alright. Remember this hatch? We saw it in World 1, but we did not have 420 notes. We can activate it now. Forget it, punk! You won't be needing to learn this one! Just flee, girl, there! Oh. Yeah, that's a Kazooie-only move. We've gotten the Banjo-only move and the Banjo and Kazooie joint move in this world, so now we have the Kazooie-only move. <laughs> Good platforming. Take that, you beehive. I love how we still have Dragon Kazooie. You wait here, Banjo. Kazooie's got this. Uh, where did we come from? <laughs> Kazooie, did you really forget the direction we came in? No, shut up, Banjo. Alright, last move for Pterodactyl Land. It's Hatch! 
I can't believe that you're a bird. I'm a dragon who can't hatch eggs. It's so absurd. So hold down Z and then press B. Then a real bird I'll finally see. That'll be all. Dismissed. Yeah, so the uh, move we get for Kazooie in this world is the ability to hatch eggs. We can lay down by using ZB. It's a weird, very situational move, but we actually are going to use it quite a bit in the game. Believe, believe it or not. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure this is all we can really do in Ungabunga's cave, but we may as well explore the rest of it. Ah yes, this way leads to the guard, I believe. How you doing, dude? Me, Unka Bunka. You seem okay. Oh, thanks. I like this caveman. He's he's pretty chill. I wonder if we can use the springy step shoes in here. Sorry, not coming in wearing silly shoes. Oh, I didn't know there was a dress code in Unga Bunga's cave. <laughs> He's like, Banjo Kazooie, yeah, you guys seem okay. Wait, you have shoes on? Never mind. Also, this way we have another Rock Nut tribe member. Ouch! You never get jiggy from Rock Nut's tribe. We got big tough armor. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've dealt with you guys in the past. So, fun fact, uh, so there's this is a two-way tunnel. So if we go in on the other side, he will also be facing us from there. Like, no matter which way we go, he'll always be facing Banjo and Kazooie. So what we're gonna do... ...is fire a clockwork egg. And we have to make it navigate along these platforms here. And now, because Banjo and Kazooie are facing them, Rock Knight will be facing away from this. Ah, not believe you beaten all Rock Nuts tribe. We let you have shiny rock. That was the last one. We beat Rock Nuts tribe. Nice job, gentlemen. I mean, gentlemen and lady. Thanks. All right, gotta get up high. All right, it's okay. <laughs> We made it. We made it, Tails. Oh. oh, that's right. In order to climb up higher, we actually need to go into Ungabunga's cave, get put on the springy step shoes, and then navigate over to that part of the mountain. I went the wrong way, because I'm used to going uh, counterclockwise up mountains. I blame Diddy Cone Racing for the, the Triceratops race, where you do the spiral counterclockwise up the mountain. Yeah, we actually do have to navigate along this narrow bridge. Because remember, it's, we only get one jump with the springy step shoes. And we gotta save it for here. You down there! Steal my eggs, would you? Then take this! So, there's apparently a pterodactyl who's now mad at us for some reason. And it's gonna start spitting... Throwing slushies at us, just like VeggieTales. <laughs> oh, nice slushy! <laughs> Keep walking, but you won't knock down the wall. Keep walking, <laughs> but she isn't gonna fall. Anyone ever watch VeggieTales? That was a good show. Man, you got a bad aim. <laughs> Gah! You made it! Come on, I dare you to come up the stairs! I'll show you what happens to egg-robbing bears! Okay, so we could go this way. But I think at this point, we're gonna head up here. See what the pterodactyl- what the- <laughs> What this pterodactyl is so upset about. Terry's Nest. No music, just the wind and the sound of a pterodactyl. Oh my! You are very big. Give me back my eggs, you filthy white fingered bear! Uh, what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me! I want my eggs back or else! 
Or else what? You're due to become extinct soon anyway. Maybe so, but not before you two! Terry, disgruntled pterodactyl parent. <laughs> so now we get to fight Terry, and, um... Terry's gonna start shooting slushies at us. But thankfully he's got a bad aim. Yes, I did say he. Mmm! I reckon I can get a better vantage point around the other side. So you just shoot eggs at him, and grenade eggs do the most damage, naturally. Those eggs hurt! I'm off for a rest while the mucoids soften you up! So then there are these little, like, booger enemies. We can just rat a tat rap them. We can just rat a tat rap them, or breathe fire on them with Dragon Kazooie. Hey! Where did all my snotty buddies go? You've stolen them! Just like my precious eggs! Yes, Terry is actually a, a guy, not a girl, despite the sound effects. And despite the fact that uh, he's looking for eggs. Man, Terry actually is better. Terry, Terry heard me trash talking his aim earlier, and now he's making up for it. Well, Terry's a massive target, so at least easy to damage. That's a lot of boogers. You know, it's polite to use Kleenex. Come on, toasted boogers! Come! <laughs> sounds like the, that sounds like something they'd serve on Kitchen Nightmares. Yeah, Terry's aim also gets a lot better as the fight goes on. He, fro he throws the slushies where he thinks you're likely to go. We can also just use Wonder Woman's vulnerability, too. Alright, three more grenade eggs ought to do it. Just two, actually. STOP IT! I'VE HAD ENOUGH! Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear by that grunt, it's actually like a man sound. I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now! Oh, uh, we haven't got your eggs, Terry. You haven't? Oh dear, sorry about the rough stuff. That's alright, I enjoyed it. Oh, perhaps we could keep a lookout for your eggs. Would you? That's real nice of you. There are four eggs to find, which must be ready for hatching around now. Leave it to us, Terry. Please find the eggs for me before I become extinct. I'll give you half the reward now and half later! <laughs> so we get one Jiggy for beating up Terry. And then we'll get another Jiggy for helping him find the eggs. To help you get my eggs back, I'll also let you use this... You may have seen these stone eggs around. Well, now they don't... Now they turn away from stone back into... Eggs that are ready to hatch, and hey, guess what move we just learned? So here we get the Jiggy for beating up Terry. Also, there's a little clump here. If we build drill it... We get another Jiggy just from falling down here. I feel like this is the laziest Jiggy in the entire game. It's basically giving us two Jiggies for beating one boss. And the boss will give us another Jiggy for helping us get the eggs back, so yeah. If you were wondering why we didn't have a lot of Jiggies in this world yet, that's why. <laughs> also, the order in which you get Terry's eggs back actually kind of does matter. Specifically, there's, um... I'll just say, the last egg you hatch is a little more problematic than some of the other eggs that you hatch. More on that later. So we head down here. We can open the gate inside the mountain. And hey, there's split-up pads. We're back in here. Also, if you heard that little peep, there's an egg up there. Has someone been repairing holes in their nest recently? 
yeah, that's that's hinting towards the jiggy up there. So this is one of the eggs. I just want to say, hatch this egg last. It'll make your life a good deal easier. You might be tempted to hatch it first because it's right here. Don't. It'll make your life a lot easier if you hatch it last. I'm not going to say any more, but just you got to trust me on this one. You're not going to screw anything up permanently by not hatching that last. It, again, it literally just makes the last egg easier. All right, back to Pterodactyl Land. So that was Terry's Nest, and now we... See, that's why you can't do Terry as the final Jiggy, because one of the Jiggies, you have to beat Terry, and then go throughout the world and hatch his eggs. And yeah, for those of you who are still confused, so Terry did not lay the eggs. But rather, the backstory is uh, Terry was the husband, his wife laid the eggs, and then his wife left him. And that's why he's super protective over the eggs. Kind of an interesting bit of uh, backstory there. No! Mother, I love you! Yeah. <laughs>